Okay. The smooth sounds, wine, the tastiness, the flavor. Where do you see this on Google Plus? Mmm. Savor the moment. Say how conversations be hotches. I said that one. Live from New York, here in Queens, the lovely Astoria. Probably gardens, but not really. <laughs> it's Hangout Conversations with Matt Rappaport. Ah, oh, there I am. Except I'm freezing. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Hangout Conversations. I am Matt Rappaport. And as you can see, that's not a dental hygienist. That's Lee Allison. He's a chef. He's awesome. He'll be my guest tonight. Let me get a little... Do you have... Absolutely. To Here's to uh, G Plus and Hangout Conversations. Mm. It's a fruity little um, Sauvignon Blanc. Very good. Ooh, that's, that's kind of like my ex-girlfriends. So. Kind of like either one of my ex-wives. Yeah. I've got lots of them. Stashing them away like squirrels stash away nuts for winter. So anyway. That sounds good. Well, No, not really. Thanks for being <laughs> Well, sounds good in the sounds good qu quotation marks. Welcome to Hangout Conversations. I am Matt Rappaport, Lee Allison. This is a beautiful May night. Uh, uh, maybe we'll turn the camera around eventually and show you how beautiful it is outside. There's a... Uh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous seven. evening. What is it, like uh, mid-60s or seven, something? Almost 70 yeah. during the day. Really? Wow. Well, so by now we're down in the mid-60s, so there, I'm right. You are always right. Uh, there we I don't go. argue with, right. with the cook. We're here at Lee Allison's humble kitchen in abode. And, in and uh, beautiful Queens, New York, Astoria, actually. So uh, it's a little bitty kitchen, which is why Matthew is over there. Yeah, and I'm over here to do the slaving for everybody's enjoyment. Uh, but that's all right. We're having a good time. Yeah, so no, thanks for everyone for tuning in. Uh, we actually had a great show last week. We had Lee, uh, not Lee, your Lee, but uh, Chichu and David Bennett, Hangout Engineer Team, which is really cool. That's up for you to check out on youtube.com backslash Hangout Conversations. And there's not a lot of new stuff happening on Google+. Plus. I mean, usually don't have my guests here, but are there, I don't know if there are any new features or anything that's new that's I, don't, I haven't Hangout. heard of any releases lately. I know um, there's an app. There are a lot of Hangout apps. There's a live meme app, which maybe I'll play with later in the, in the show which I had joking around, like, uh, one does not simply hang out with Matt Rappaport. Mm, nice. I know what he's doing, yeah, nice, which, is, nice. which is a meme. meme you know, the only thing of, of note as far as tech goes um, is I recently, do you, when you post to your G Plus stream, do you post to your Facebook separately, or do you have uh, an extension or an app that does it all at once for you? Well, Mohammed Mansur has the uh, G Plus extended share, which I use, which you can click on. You can add, you can go to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Blogger. Interesting. So I'll have to check that one out. I came across one called social ba, socialba.com. Okay. Sounds familiar. It's it's very nice one. Um, I've just started playing around with it. If anybody has any other suggestions, send them to me because I'm, I don't want to have to post a double. You know, I want to be able to post one thing to stream and have it to go exactly where I want it to. So. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it's tricky, too, with social media because it's like you kind of want to put things all the same, all over, but right. you also kind of want to not repeat well, so okay, a sense of so my G original. Plus page is very food-oriented, as all of my circles know, anybody mm -hmm. who has me in their circles. Um, so I'm okay putting food stuff there, but my Facebook personal page is just friends and family. It's, it's not a lot of people have me on Facebook. However, the social skillet has a Facebook page, and I want to be able to post there, but not to my personal stuff. And, and that's the trick that I'm having a hard time finding an app that will do just that for me. Yeah. Just G Plus, just my fan page, not my personal page. Yeah, and it's tough. So, I mean, it's there's a lot, and hey, there's a lot of Google Plus business pages that people are playing with, and uh, sure, we'll get into all that. Uh, we'll get we're gonna get heated up here in a second. And cooking time is, is gonna come. Tonight's guest is shaken, not stirred. Oh, that was the worst. Wow, I thought joke. it was an earthquake. I thought it was an LA. It's an earthquake. Uh, let me quickly check. Oh, hey, CY film student. I, I think I know who that is. It's oh, that's uh, Kathy. Cynthia, Cynthia Yildrum, my bad. Hello, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. How are you doing this evening? Thanks for watching. And as I tune in, it's a different format. Let me check the uh, the, pro the old profile here. I'm using the comment tracker, which is a nice app too, but it doesn't always. You have to feed it correctly. And you can't slap it around. You gotta wine and dine it. You know, wine and dine it. Hey, Mark Belly. He said, Lee Allison. You say, okay. Now I'm interested. How our food doesn't I travel very well. All right. Well, okay, so this is true, but we're going to have a little science lesson here tonight also. We are going to be cooking. We've already eaten dinner. We have. We have. It's just sandwiches. It was, they were really good. But oh, it was delicious buffalo chicken. Sandwiches. Yeah. Um, what we're doing tonight is dessert, and it's a dessert that's going to go from a cold kitchen to completely done in under 45 minutes, and this is a flourless chocolate pudding cake. Wow. But it isn't. 
and we'll huh. talk about that in a minute. But I, I don't want to say... It's a trick. That. You're trying to trick us. No, to... no, it isn't, because what it actually is is really scary to a lot of people. We're not going to go into that until... You know, we'll, when we I provide... I, I bet it's in a foreign language, but... Uh, probably. Probably. Uh, well, let me let me just maybe take a step... So you could step to your right or step to your loo or stay there, but... I, I, write, I do write some of this stuff down because I you know, want to make sure he I does. prepare. He does. He's got a script here and everything. Just I'm so little intimidated. Bit. I am. Just a little bit. But I like to make sure that sound you hear, that's New York. Just to make yeah. sure we're live yeah. and you can hear the sound. Uh, uh, okay, so this is a beautiful May evening. We've got this direction. Every window in the house is open so that we can get a little bit of now, I wonder over if I... Here. No, we're like, not. No, he's no, like, you better not. I'll kill you. No, because I didn't clean over there. I sort of cleaned oh, over here. Okay. Right. I was going to do a flip around and then a flip. No, my wife Allison will eviscerate you. When you Do you have a knife? Oh. No, they're all over there. I know where the knives are. Uh, <laughs> anyway, nice. somewhere down the street, somebody just opened up a uh, Harley shop. Nice. So we get serenaded by the lovely, full-throated CC board. Sounds you know, of yeah. Not only that, room. since this is New York, as everybody from New York knows, within the next 30 minutes, we will hear at least one siren go off. Of course. Minimum. Bare minimum. But that's what we live near. You live near a, a major... Roadways. You're gonna hear a lot more. Uh, major roadway, major hospitals, a couple of different things. Oh, yeah. uh, my wife and I actually have a theory. We think that most of the sirens that we hear, because it kind of sounds the same night after night. Oh, donut sirens? No, it's it's not that it's fake. We think that the ambulance driver is in front of their ex-wives or ex-boyfriend's house, just pissing them off. Nice. That's it's just. And they theory. all live in Astoria. And apparently, they all live in a half mile course. radius of my house. Mark Belly liked your comment about slapping it around. We're talking about the food science. Of yes, the food. Yes, the food. absolutely. Uh, but I finally really, I first really got to know Mr. Lee Allison over here in a Halloween hangout. That's kind of where yeah. I, I kind of heard about you before, but I really got to see you in action on the Halloween hangout, Lori Palmer. Organize this we huge did. Halloween hangout, and I it's so still fun. up there on the web. Uh, actually, a sad thing happened. I was hosting a segment, and supposedly I had I was looking for scary stories on the internet. So I was, I, you know, this before HOA, we leave everything old school, and I found a couple of random stories, and I was just making them spooky. And whoever created those stories, or whoever found, somehow the video may be popular, found your video, and now the audio was cut out because of that. So you never heard my, my ghost story? No, I think yours is up. He oh, for my okay. segment. Now your segment oh, is still okay. up. But I thought that as was long really, as mine's up. Yours up, yeah. Okay. But I thought that was an interesting kidding, thing that Lori. Oh, that's fine. But and then Heather Faye did Thriller. Did a, yeah, did a, yeah, a she great did. segment she did. She did some song. Uh, there was it, that hangout was going for. Out. Four, six, six, Four seven. five, six, seven, eight hours. Lizzie Split did a, a, a yeah, little bit. Yeah. And, and, oh, and Julie Bell had the Angry Bird costume that one. Yeah, yeah, whole thing. she did. When is, um, let's see, we're coming up on July is just month after. It'll be uh, one year, yeah. the end of June, beginning of July. The end of June is going to be one year time period. And it's really cool to still see people doing cutting edge stuff with the hangouts and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, the hangout conversations that, uh, Matthew Rappaport is doing excellent. Um, let's see. Uh, Tiffany Henry did a 24-hour hangout for cancer awareness. I heard about that, and Paul was on. My friend uh, got involved in some body painting with her. And some, oh, that was, was a really, beautiful. Which is, and Paul is really giving and telling. Oh, to yeah. Time. He was hugely, hugely talented. Sure. Um, I saw another gentleman on my screen who is, uh, has a page specifically for a specific disease, and I forget exactly. Frank Garufi, Jr., who I just shared, uh, yeah. Crohn's. Yes, Crohn's disease. Yeah, I think. Um, his son, I think it is, is afflicted with it. And so mm -hmm. he's got a page that's helping to raise awareness. So There's yeah. a lot of things, yeah, a lot of things happen. Yeah, you've got your Robert Scobles, and you've got, you know. Yeah, but I don't think the they're actually using the HOA. Uh, Not really, but late. there's a lot of people doing some very cool stuff with G+. Armin Omir actually just tried to do a, she did have a, she had thyroid surgery, and she, I guess they had a pre-surgical thing, and then they, they tried to do it, they, the hospital signed away on it, to do it live, but I guess they didn't realize what a hangout was, and they obviously can't do it live because if something goes wrong, well, yeah, bada boom. So yeah. they recorded it, and everything went well. So I guess it'll be up later. And then uh, Dan McDermott was involved; he was hosting, and then he does his own show too, and that was interesting. So a couple of weeks back, I went in and had a small outpatient procedure, and I was thinking about <laughs> having a hangout for that <laughs> one. It, it was the uh, you know all the males in the room. It, it was the, the yeah. Yeah, Cut really that awesome. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, 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 I thought about it, and I, I floated the idea to Allison. She gave me a dead look. She's like, no way. You're not, no. Thank but you, you just told everyone anyway, so it's just... Mm, no, whatever. It it's, whatever. It's, hey, it's hey, mine. Hey, to, to, to Morgan Sarnes. Yes, absolutely. Responsible non-parenting. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, and uh, you were a mad scientist. You were wearing the glasses. You had the cop. Well, there's there's a still in the closet in there. Yeah, still in the closet. And um, that was that was pretty cool to see that happen. And that, and uh, we also we did the New York City Hurl, which was really we amazing. We did. We did the New York City Hurl. You know, the very first time I heard about it, I was like, man, this is a great idea. But you know, I don't know. It, this has the potential to flop in a a magnificent fashion, right? But it didn't. And it didn't. No. Not even a little bit. I would it was not so let awesome. things flop. I mean, no. Well, I didn't know you at the time. I was like, who's this sputs here? Who's this sputs? Who cares yeah. about him? Yeah. No. 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 It yeah. uh, it went wonderfully. We had a great time. My only regret was the inability to participate more than I did. Mm -hmm. By the time that I found out about it, um, Ali and I already had a weekend planned with some other stuff going oh, that's on. Fine. You know, and otherwise I'd have been there for the photo walks, hey, I'd have been I mean, there for the bar hopping, and you know more than we did. The the, pro, the beauty of life, will there'll be more dates, there'll be more, look, we're doing this, and there'll be more to come. So there's no worries. But yeah, it was great. The uh, kind of we kind of did it. I was all planning the last minute, and, and we just said, oh well, yeah, you want to come over and cook? It's like, ah, what the heck? I was like, it's not really. There's like not even a kitchen. It's like nothing. Oh, there's it's, it's not. It makes your kitchen it's, look like dynasty. It's, it was a cabinet, yeah. yay tall with a microwave mm. and a shelf over the microwave and a sink and that's and fortunately you know I uh, where, what was the name of the place we were staying at uh, it was I called it the New York City Hurl HQ is what I was calling right. it right well it was an apartment down off of 36th Street 36th Street yes and um, this apartment is for rent by the the day the week the month or whatever mm -hmm. and they've got photos of the apartment online <laughs> so Matthew had linked the here's where we're going to be staying here's the address and as soon as I signed on to do the cooking, the very first thing I did, Matt, was go to the website. Okay, what's – he said there's a half kitchen. Oh, my God. That's not a kitchen. It's a sink in a corner. Okay, now I know what I'm working with. No matter how rough it is, I know what I'm working with, and I just planned the menu accordingly. So it was all prefixed. All I did was pull in and assemble things. And no, and you did an amazing job, and you know what? They were tasty. He did. He created these these really creative uh, cowboy caviar, chicken, cheese, and a tortilla. I forgot cro crostini. What'd you call them? Uh, not uh, not crostinis. crostinis. They were no, they weren't no. crostinis because they were using a t uh, taco uh, uh -huh. cup on the bottom. Uh, they were little finger foods. They were uh, uh, amuse bouche. Mm. Uh, hey Mark. Amuse bouche. I'm sorry. I can. I always slaughter the French pronunciation. Oh, we we. We'll uh, get into the French probably later. Possibly. Okay. Or another country. Well, you're going to kick my ass. Or some wine. So. Some Je m'appelle so Mathieu, et toi? Ah, yeah. Well, this is our second drink of the night, kids. So, you know, these are Can trained we professionals. Can yeah, we, we will. We will. We will. We'll, we'll talk about it soon. Uh, I haven't even fully introduced you yet. But, uh, yeah, I just want to shout out to Mark John Clifford. They're like, who's the guest? We haven't seen the guest. When will the is guest come Mark out? John Clifford just joined? Mark John Clifford said, hi, man, at least. So. Uh, excellent. Uh, Mark John Clifford, if you guys aren't following this gentleman on uh, G+. Shout out. He is uh, over on the West Coast, and uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Perry, Luke, everybody, uh, is a great guy who happens to be doing an awful lot of work to raise awareness for diabetes. There's a lot of people doing this kind of work, uh, but Matthew has a really good take on it and has a lot of really good information on his websites. Uh, last year, I participated in his uh, Diabetes Awareness for Kids uh, okay. Day. You mean Mark John, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think you said Matthew. Did yeah. I say Matthew? Possibly. Well, we're drinking. We're blaming it on the wine. Blaming on the wine. Mark yeah, John we're starting Matthew. that wine card early. We're playing. Uh, and yeah, we did kind of. Uh, Mark Belly was talking about uh, the Hangoutathon. Yeah, Hangoutathon. I guess dot com. Yeah, that was a great thing. And 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 I also see Brooke Brown is raising money. And I know that we helped Tanner Campbell. He raised money for getting clean drinking water Haiti. Sarah Hill did a great mm -hmm. cause. Sure. She was getting carts for people in third world countries to to take their kids and, and groceries because they had to travel through dirt and mud. And so there's so many different. Right causes and things in the world that uh, that we're doing on here and we're that we're moving around um mark belly said link i'm not sure uh can you give a shout out hey so yeah i don't did i get the link wrong i don't i don't know i'm doing the best i can hey why don't you miss hey if you want me to shout out something before the show uh just send me messages i'm pretty friendly and tell me what it is and i mean i was aware of i'm aware of most things but let me know, and I'll try to fit in. So I absolutely do the best. We're gonna get absolutely. those links, and then any shout out attached to a five dollar or larger denomination <laughs> goes to the head of the pack. I'm just saying. Because the head of having conversations, and a big percentage of that goes to certain charitable causes besides myself, such as the liquor store down the street. The liquor store, and you know yeah. all cancer charities, and um, and the human fund, of course. <laughs> 
the human fungus. The cops space. will be showing up before we're done. Uh, yeah, I believe right? you do. No, yeah, that's because that's because we make a ruckus, sir. Yeah, you, you you're like next to a porn apartment, right? Somebody I do. do. So, is there a porn I, studio? I, I, you know about that? No, but the really, is, seriously, do you have an address? Is this like I, on Google Maps or no something? I have no idea. Google Maps? Uh, no, I, actually, the guy that, that owns this apartment building uh, has a uh, it's a lingerie and underwear manufacturing shop right around the corner. Right. Nice. But, do you go in there? Do you frequent visit uh, frequent oftenly? The judge says I can't. The judge says no. Right. Now, is that judge named Alice? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, in fact. <laughs> That's a nice judge. Ah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's actually, yeah. that's Ali Ali. Uh, we'll get into her. I mean, we'll get into, yeah. uh, that sounded wrong. Uh, anyway, yeah. you were at the concert as well, and you were at UCD you, you, you were at the concert. For the Hurl, yes. The Hurl, Daria, yeah. Heather, um, Ryan, and Yeah, all of them. That Lynette. was a great time. Out, Peter. Got to meet uh, Peter, got to meet Lynette. Great people. Purple. Absolutely enjoyed both of their companies. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you had to then we went, there. Yeah, and, oh, and hung out with you. Then we went bar hopping afterwards. We did, time. yeah, yeah. We, we had a, a nice little bit drink. of bar hopping. Little, we little, didn't we really had a drink, Alice and Allison. That was nice of you to take us to drink. Oh, and um, so, well, and here you are. It's, I mean, you're outspoken, you're funny, and you remind me of another another guy. You're correct. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Who? Rappaport. Anyway, <laughs> it's, it's the chef. <laughs> it's Lee Allison, everybody. <laughs> I, don't know if we, I don't have any applause or clap. That's all right. There. I don't need it. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, the shop you speak of. I'm not sure. Did we speak of a shop? Oh, he wants to know the name. Mark probably wants to know the name of the lingerie shop. Did you give it? Did you plug it? Is that what no, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. yeah, I think you have to. I tell everybody we'll where I live. And the, the thieves would be here just Carver. thick as... Thick as thieves, thieves they are. Yes, yes, I've exactly. seen you two alike. Andy uh, and Andy yes. Dufresne. And yes. So, uh... The Hurl experience was pretty amazing. They've done some hurls really cool. in Texas and D.C. and yeah. Ottawa, Miami. Had but one. were we the first? We were the, we're I guess, the first really big one. Every, well, it's New York. Were, it's New York. It's the yeah. biggest city. I mean, hey, I'm sure you guys had a good time, but we had a, yeah. people flew in from all over the place. You know what? How many, well, actually, there's a lot of rooftops like this, but how many cities in the world can you go to your rooftop and see the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, the R RKO oh, Building, and see the entire Manhattan skyline from your roof. Three floors this direction. I love it. And, you know, it's really weird because um, throughout my entire life, mm -hmm. um, I was born and raised in South Texas. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? one of these. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I was born and raised in South it's Texas. Like, it's a visual guy because we're, we're on video. That's so. good. Uh, and I always thought about, you know, going to New York City. I was like, ah, I don't want to. What's the dirty? No, it's I'm dirty. I'm a Cowboys fan. I don't like those New York. I am. I've got like four jerseys, uh, four Cowboy jerseys. I, I think I wrote something about that, but I awesome. looked it up. Um, well, I always thought that I would hate it until I moved here. There is so much people. to do. These are your people. Ah, uh, you <laughs> no, all right. Yeah, I'm, that might I'm be a push. Here, I mean, right. it, okay, some people are here. There's some really good people, and then there's a whole bunch of but that's everywhere. That's not less true. than good people. Or maybe in the South there. Well, no, down in the, the South, South, people are a 100% more friendly than anybody in New York City. But would you rather, I mean, we, I mean, not, look, I'm sure the South's beautiful, but I mean, there's, gorgeous. All right, they're not saying anything. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, I know where the chef knives are. <laughs> yes, you do, you do. Uh, so we can talk about a lot of stuff, continue with the hurl, but you do, you do cook, you do, you I do, you do our chef, uh, would you like to start with whatever you might make? Absolutely. Here? So as I said at the beginning of the show, we've already eaten main course dinner tonight and as usual with, um, with any sort of hangouts or hangouts on, uh, on air or whatever, the challenge is to come up with a dish that can prep and cook and plate and under a reasonable show length time. Mm -hmm. um, last year when we were doing our uh, cooking schools, we, you know, every week this was a constant challenge for us. So um, our, our dinner tonight, or our dessert tonight, is going to be um, a flourless chocolate cake. Oh, now, yeah. before you poo-poo the idea, because, you know, flourless, you know, if, if you're gluten-free, you're totally into anything that's flourless, and you're thinking, well, this is going to be like a slab of tar, and it's not going to taste very good. <laughs> no, this isn't, because this isn't actually a cake that we're making, all right? Um, What's that you say? And I'm, it's a scary topic, what we're really doing here, and I'm not going to bust, I'm not going to broach that until we're ready to go. Okay. All right, give me a little bit of room. You ready for me to cook? Sure. Do you want to just, oh, I'll pour the wine. That's fine. Yeah. I will pour the wine. Mm, sure. Okay. No, 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 there you go. Fine. If you want top me off right there. Okay, All right. Let me First see. thing that we're going to do is I'm going to hit the oven over here to my immediate right. We're going to kick this to 375 and let that start to preheat. Good. And right about there. All right. Second thing that we're going to do 
is we're going to melt six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, and this is just uh, basic Nestle's. Feel free to kick this up and use a really high quality chocolate, like a Ghirardelli's or you know one of the Swiss import chocolates. Oh, dude, I do that? Bring it out. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Come on. I don't, I don't Who are we kidding here? Who are we kidding, right? Uh, um, six ounces of chocolate. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can melt this. The traditional way is over a double boiler, which is absolutely 100% effective. Um, your challenge is to heat this until the chocolate gives up its physical form, the uh, the little morsels. Oh, hang on. I dropped that one. Okay. Until it, that's going to go really good with the wine. I just realized that. It'll be weird with the wine. Oh, whatever. Don't mind about it. But you don't want to you don't want to actually cause the chocolate to break or anything. So I put this into a completely um, dry uh, Pyrex. Thank you very much. Yeah, and those chips. Can I? Can we? Can we? Can you do a quick uh, like put the chips right up to the? Because uh, people will be. Yeah, if we do a little. Um, yeah. I want those back. Okay. Yeah, you can have them back, but I just want people to salivate and drool over the chocolate chips. Um, Give me the chocolate. I mean that, right? All right, there we go. We just our viewers just went up by ten. Yeah. That. So, <laughs> there we go. Awesome. You know what? A, you know what else double boiler is awesome for? I don't know. Is that a question that he's asking, or is what he, is? Mark Bell is really taking us on here, Mark. What is he saying? He says, you know what else double boiler is awesome for? What's that, Mark? I don't know. Tell us, Mark. I mean, he wants you to probably tell. Let's him. see. What else is a double boiler really oh, good it's for? Like Jeopardy. Um, cooking Jeopardy. You can melt anything that you need to melt. Gently That's in a good. double boiler. Uh, you can certainly poach eggs in a double boiler mm -hmm. very well. Um, Mark, what did you have in mind specifically? Let us know, Mark. And uh, while well, he's clicking on that one, so getting yeah. a special out. So it would be so. So you are a chef. So what, what? How long have you? Did you go to culinary school? Like when? Did, how long have you been cooking? Did you get all the so southern? Fun. Southern recipes, your mom, your dad, family, talk about that. Absolutely. Um, real quick, yes, um, when ahead. you're melting the chocolate in the microwave, what you want to do is you want to initially nuke it for about 30 seconds, and then just take a spatula and go through and get this. You can see. Oh, yeah, camera that, yeah. You can see it's already starting to, to melt just a little bit. And from this point forward, it's oh. just chocolate, son. My God, control yourself. <laughs> it's chocolate. We love chocolate. We, we, so uh, we had chocolate-covered bacon. Ronnie Brody was here on my birthday, stuff. I'm sorry, and yes. there was chocolate covered bacon on a stick, and it was just so amazing. Bar 375, plug for them, and it was a really cool place. They had they had salt, they had guacamole, mild, medium, and spicy. Of course, it wasn't spicy. Nice, and, uh, nice. Um, we're gonna give this another about 10 seconds, and this is gonna Nine, take me a few seven, minutes. Yeah, six, and what five. you want to do is you want to come back and renew it 10 or 15 seconds at a time. And it's going to take about three minutes all total for it to melt. Mm. But if you do it, you shouldn't burn it. Don't sure. burn. Don't don't burn the baby. Yep. Don't burn the baby. Don't burn the baby. Nice uh, Rain Man reference. <laughs> I had to think about <laughs> that tried. one for a second. <laughs> Rain okay. Man or Adam Sandler. Either way, it's that. But. And as you can see, this is already. So now we were talking about. Wait, I shouldn't. I was going to bring up a disgusting reference, and that's a negative. Well, yeah. Let's not do that. Let's while not I'm do that. Cooking. Not while you're cooking. Wait for another cooking show. Yeah, another cooking not show. Fine. But you, but did you just saw a funny story earlier. Maybe in conversations plus after we're done eating. We'll okay. Consider. All right. We'll get into those afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to nuke this just a little bit more. Yeah, Cynthia says it's amazing chocolate. I mean, all chocolate's amazing. Well, Mark, yeah. Mark Barabelli, infusing butter with flavor, smiley face, poached eggs are an awesome use, too. Oh, infusing butter. Okay, is it for the double boiler? Is that what he was referring to? Yeah, I think so. And he said poached eggs are awesome use, too. Actually, yep. never tried that before. Usually just use the steamed vegetables, which aren't as good as chocolate. Steamed vegetables are really good. One of the best $10 investments mm. that you can I hear make. the door. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Okay, right here on the video, right there, is my good friend Bridget, who is staying with us. And right there, hi, is my lovely lady, Ali Ali. You're, you're on live camera, baby. You're sorry. live. Sorry. You. Just come on in. I can block you. Please block me. She's going to kick my ass later. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, I love being on camera. Hi, Ali Ali. Nice to see you. Oh, and that's Bruiser. That's and that's so Bruiser P. Allison, or Yellow Dog. And P is because he pees a lot. Yes, this is a true story. What are you drinking there? Vino. Would you like some? Oh. There's more, though. Oh, Fry Brothers, okay. I think that's how you say that. Okay. You said it well. Fry, fry. Fry, fry. Look at the chocolate. Look at the chocolate. You want me to have some? No, no. I just, oh. you see, what are you that's, making? Uh, we are making a uh, flourless chocolate cake. Oh, very and nice. And a little self-serve size. So oh, that's perfect. For she's just home from work, so yes. my beautiful lady. And yeah. Yes, and it's funny. I have on the notes here an Alice and Allison story about oh. Alice and Allison. 
She's like, but we don't have to do that now. I'm saying later. No, I meant Lee had the story. No, no, yeah, I, had yeah, yeah. Oh, I wasn't going to put you on the spot. Like no, there are no stories. Over. But you were in the Navy, right? I heard about that one. <laughs> I was. This show is going so well. It so, is. We're already drinking. Um, Would you like a glass of wine, my lady? Yeah. She's okay. like, why well, wasn't ready when I walked in? All right. So, uh, so you can tell this is a live show. We weren't kidding. This is not recorded. We are live. Sorry. Okay. No, now, cool. I'm, I'm not, you know, all the foodies who just saw me twist the lid off a bottle of wine. Okay. <laughs> They're all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, this, I will go ahead and plug this after I remove the, uh, the price tag. The price tag. Put your finger there. I'm trying to save the corks. Yeah, I'm trying to save the cork trees. And I don't this like those plastic corks. Mm. Okay, this... Uh, is a completely, there it goes, uh, Santa Carolina, this is a uh, Chilean wine, and it is under $10 a bottle, and delicious, it's really, really, really good, so, this, this is my lady's most favorite, are you kidding me, Fireball, oh gosh, she brought home a full bottle of Fireball, Fireball Cinnamon Alcohol, Sure. Oh, we'll need to have some shot glasses me. Sure. And actually, from on his right one. shoulder is not on camera. Anything past his right shoulder. Not that you have to go there. Just let me know if you want. Thank you. Yeah, okay. just so that you can. Just if you wanted to get something out of something. Right, right. Well, and I the bathroom is definitely not on camera at all. Good, because I'm going to wash my hands. I bet I'm a nasty girl. I heard, you know, I'm trying to cook here, folks. Yeah, but yeah, chocolate. So there's a lot of chocolate. And that is very hot. Kansas? And no, it's then, actually not. It's a little bit above room temperature. Now, the next thing that we're going to do. Now, normally for my shows... Oh, are they saying we're echoey? Huh. That's weird. Are we echoey? Tell us if we're echoey. Or, I don't know. Anyway, I hope not. I don't know. I don't know. We've got lots of... A lot of sounds. A lot walls. of things going around. So, a lot of different people and sounds. Help! Exactly. Okay, really? You're not helping, okay? <laughs> She's underwater, kids. We're underwater. <laughs> we're digging for fish and... <laughs> Right. Yeah. Okay, so normally when I do uh, the cooking shows, I like to try to do all of the actual prep work on the show, mm -hmm. but one of the things that we needed to prep was six egg whites, or I'm sorry, six eggs separated yolks from the whites, and I've pre-done just a little bit of this right here, uh, let's see, without nice. anybody a higher, wearing a anything. Up. There we go, that's good. Nope, too bright, but that's all right. <laughs> this is... Whoa, <laughs> Tina Gallery. Yep, definitely. All right, and we're going to go ahead and do the, the whipping on this right here in the small bowl. The chocolate is just going to go right in here with the eggs. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to hit all of this with a whisk. Now, can we see the chocolate and the eggs up close? I will show you awesome. here in just a minute. So you were talking a little bit about how you started cooking and why you were cooking and, and um, what your love is for it. And the cooking, you know, the... This is definitely one of those situations where I get this from um, from my folks, uh, from my mom specifically. Uh, the when I was growing up, the situation that we were handed was um, we'll make uh, we'll make a dinner. Um, mom was was going to make dinner five times a week. Uh, the breakfast was going to be whatever we wanted to have, and lunch was at schools. And then there was going to be big dinners on the weekend. But outside of that, if there's something you know, if I came home from work and I was, or from school and I was like, I really wanted brownies, the standard attitude was, there's the kitchen, <laughs> don't blow kitchen. anything up. Now, the interesting thing about this was I actually did. The very first thing that I ever fixed was a, um, what was it? Oh, it was, uh, it was a banana bread oh, yeah. that I managed to completely and totally destroy. So that was awesome. And then after the banana bread, I fixed, uh, I burned Rice Krispie treats. Oh, did they, were they any good or? No, I burned oh, them. I physically burned Rice okay, Krispie treats. black, totally black. Yeah, yeah. and I was, re I was removed from the kitchen ad infinitum for a long, long time until I was able to convince her to let me back in one more time. And on that second time, a little bit of, yeah. hey, no what you, peanut what, If someone doesn't like the fireball, what? That is, that is what I, that's egg there. That's egg, thanks. <laughs> and then on the, uh, my third try in there, I turned out a perfect from scratch <laughs> angel food cake. So. Good. I, I can wear egg. You know, everyone's like, everyone could wear egg. You know, the dark never, barking was what they were talking about. Yeah, 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 that's no problem. Thanks a lot, David Carver. Yeah, Bruiser just got a little excited. and uh, Nobody asked you to, you know, so you're on your own there, my friend. What? Just saying, with the egg. Oh, that's, I thought it was funny. I don't mind egg. <laughs> I don't mind getting full of egg. All right. It's all so. good. It's all good. Is this pure sugar? 
Yep, that's pure sugar. Okay. okay. Wait, I just want to show them the cocaine. It's sugar. It's yeah. not cocaine. It's, we got it directly from Charlie Sheen. He was visiting and it's winning. No, I don't know. Not as well. That's not right. Okay. okay. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to take six ramekins. These are standard uh, white baking cups. Grab it down like this. And we are going to grab a little bit of processed butter-like spread. Margarine. The, the crock. Yeah. yeah, just a little bit. You know bit. what's amazingly? People actually requesting you to make stuff, like a request. I'm like, really? That's really? Great. Someone, someone's like, can you make green veggies and oh, green yeah. pasta and yes. uh, aging and permits? That's cool. Yeah, if you, make, if you want to make your own pasta, uh, 100 grams of flour, one egg, and a pinch of salt, and just a dash of water, okay. form that into a nice solid ball, and that works out to approximately one serving of pasta. If you want it to color it, or if you want it flavored, uh, let's say you want to make basil pesto pasta, mm -hmm. take the basil, put it in a blender with a little bit of oil, a uh, blender or food processor, and reduce it to a paste, and put that, work that into the pasta. That gives you that emerald green color. If you want a yellow color, use saffron. Um, what other colors? If you want a red color, you can use beet juice. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, reduce it to a paste and put it in the pastas. Fresh pasta, pasta fresca, is absolutely worth the minimal work that it takes to do. Pesto, yeah. Oh, it is so good. What is your, do you have a fit, do you have a preferred color, natural pasta versus Just natural. Color? Yeah. Just natural. But a lot yeah. of, oh, that's the hip thing to make all the pasta different colors. Or yeah, go for it. Go for it, yeah. Yeah, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not taking like a religious viewpoint. Right. Oh my so, God, I mean, a, lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> like taste, a lot of people like presentation, a lot of people like yeah. both. I mean, what do you think about artist art, art? Artistry and the well, one of the truest things I've ever heard is you eat with your eyes first. Okay. And what that basically means is when you come up on a dish, you consume that dish visually first. If it looks like crap, <laughs> you're... Um, so I read an interesting right. article. Do you know why all of the big chain grocery stores that you go into have produce up front? Because it looks nice. Why? Or why, but why is that important to them? Because you're going to buy more? Because it's, called, it's called prepping, or I'm sorry, priming. That's not by the way, it's the dog drinking water. Yeah, the dog drinking water. It's you. called priming. When you go in and everything that you see is fresh flowers, fresh produce, fresh all of this, your expectation is that everything gonna that is going to be fresh, whether it is or it isn't. It's like setting, it's like the outside of the appearance, the outside of a restaurant, the right. the outside of the right. Like our HQ, so be nice. priming works good, works well with just regular dishes also. Yeah. Uh, if you make sure that um, the dish looks good. I would say that's an interesting analogy to human beings, like looking good on the outside and yeah. on the inside. And exactly. Sometimes people don't necessarily look good on the inside. Absolutely. But they're awesome he can be inside. the nicest guy in the world, but if he looks like a street bum, you're really <laughs> gonna. Am I wrong? <laughs> Run like for it. <laughs> There's Run. a minimal level of, of presentation that's required. Yes. Okay, back to the cooking. Yes, cooking. Back on the ramekins, once we've uh, wiped down the interior with butter, I'm going to take a little bit of sugar, and don't tilt that very much because it's pretty chocolate. very low cal. This? This? Oh, no. Yeah. Nothing low cal about this Sounds whatsoever. Like a diet. Okay. All we're going to do <laughs> is sprinkle the interior of yeah. each one of these with so uh, a little bit of sugar. Like this is just <laughs> like flouring a cake, but it's sugar. Uh, flouring a cake cocaine. Pan. What? Not mm -hmm. deflowering, but flowering. Oh. It's a different thing entirely. That is Lee's lovely wife, and she knows about the deflowering, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, we haven't consummated yet. <laughs> Not yet. They're still waiting for the... the no, while well, you were awake, woman. Uh, All right. Wow. So, anyway... There's about 8 million laws that you just broke right wow. now. Yeah, well... Breaking the law! What? <laughs> this is None of which I subscribe to. They, they can only convict me if I agree on... Viewership just went up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're at nine on YouTube, but there's probably a thousand million wow, watching. Awesome. Thousand, I like that number, a thousand million. A thousand million, that's a good number. That's, that's a, the new that's, metric system, that's right? A what? That's a billion. A thousand Ooh, million. Million. It is, but it's more fun to say a thousand million. A billion, eh. You know, it's cool. A billion dollars, eh. No, but that was the right man. So we have the rain man, but she's, she's a female. All she right. doesn't buy her underwear at Kmart, I don't yeah. think. <laughs> The other thing that I have pre-prepped that I don't normally is <laughs> wow, the, um, the mixed egg whites. And Should we show what it looks like? You're this like, is just those six eggs that we were talking That's about earlier white. have been wh whipped into a nice peaked white, and they were kept refrigerated for a little bit. That's the mixing and the dining and the mixing. 
Um, so you are, besides being a chef and having a passion for being a chef, you um, love to game. You're a gamer. Yeah, I'm a video game. gamer. I love video games. Diablo 3 just came out. Yeah, Absolutely. and there's tons of memes for the Diablo 3. There are. There are. In fact, I'm wondering if, uh, I thought about the live meme thing. Yeah, we talked about that when you and I wonder, first got here. Yeah, and I wonder if I just put a little something for everyone out there. I wonder if that'll be annoying if it's up the whole time. I'm just going to do a live meme and see how it appears to you. Oh, I, I, I spelled something wrong. So how everybody, how is everybody else out doing, out doing, doing out there? I've been joining. What? I had to step away. The bowl that I was mixing the uh, chocolate and the egg whites in is a little bit too small. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to transfer it to a larger bowl so I have room to work. All right. It says I have to upgrade. Does that up, is, do you think that will cause an issue if I upgrade now? Upgrade what? Your plug-in. That probably will mess things up. All right. I'll, yeah. Yeah, just leave I will it. not be doing that. Well, next time. Yeah. Next show. Next show. When we're going to go over to Matthew's and I'm going to watch him cook something. Oh, yeah. That means making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. It's a yeah, harsh can, crowd. I can make an omelet. Just not well. Get the out of the <laughs> the lobby <laughs> I'm going to call Mr. Wams and oh, deliver no, Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu. Yeah. Mr. Plow. Oh, wow. Mr. Who? What? He brings, <laughs> he, brings, he brings the snow cones, don't you know? <laughs> Oh, Leslie. Leslie? No, that, she doesn't do that. She does. No, it's a he. Oh, well, not, I didn't know that. My bad. Yeah, no, this show's taking <laughs> We didn't get decided. We didn't go that far. <laughs> We're cooking up a storm. Yeah, make you <laughs> Leslie. Leslie <laughs> Allison? What? Uh, hey, hey, whoa. Ooh, I had a uh, girlfriend in high school named, uh, named Leslie. No. Uh, anyway. He is stirring up a storm there. So is that your now? Are you? He's angry about Leslie. Uh -oh. <laughs> Whoa. She didn't go to prom did? with me, the winch. Yeah. She went with Tommy Hilgens, the God. quarterback. Aww. Is this me or is this you? No, that's you. The one with more is you. Well, not wrong. Okay. Uh, okay, so to catch up on what we did, the uh, chocolate that had been melted, we took about a third of the egg whites and mixed this in there. Um, this was to go ahead and lighten up the mixture just a little bit. I'm getting ready to bring the rest of the egg whites in and very, very gently fold this, fold these together. Look, I'm cooking too. Not really. Uh, no, you're not. Get your hands off the tools, friend. <laughs> okay, so. I'm this own. No. All right. First step in this, let's get the whisk out of here, and we're going to switch over to a spatula. Fireballs are going on. Say again? This is some fireballs going on around us. Right. Oh, I'm just saying that there's some, like we said, there's some fireball drinking, which is cool. Uh, so Diablo three, and so but you also do, you also have a, a hangout. You use hangouts for gaming. Well, yeah, we do. Um, me and a uh, real good friend of mine, uh, Eric McKee, who's also my partner in crime for the social skillet. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, we have hangouts going, not quite 24 by seven, but. Pretty much most of the day and night, we're in a hangout talking, you know, while we're gaming or writing newsletters or whatever it is that we do. Yeah, we're keeping them going the whole time. Awesome. And I keep, using the key, I keep using the wrong mouse. I'm like, what? Uh, yes, flowers, chocolate cake, and chill out water. Hey, how are you doing? She oh, Michelle? Said, she said I'll have some. I'm going to say it's totally wrong. You will go to French. Pouille, pouille, pouille. Police what does that mean? That's right. way beyond my French. That's uh, Michelle's our French expert. P O U I L O I. I think it's. I have no idea. I said totally wrong. Uh, no, it's P if she's French. She's watching. She's like a rapaport. Oh. But uh, we're doing pretty good. We have a lot of. Uh, Mark John Clifford said, by the way, thank you guys for promoting. Yeah, no problem, Mark John Clifford. Uh, yeah, hang out. Sure. I love yeah, all we do is hang out. All we are are hangouters. And uh, we do our hangouts. So we do a lot of this stuff. Okay. So here we go. Our next step in the so it's just going to be to. So should we talk device. about the foreign language part of it, or that step comes later? Foreign language part. What? The, so you said you didn't. We didn't want to talk about the fact that it's a soup. It's a souffle. This is, is technically a souffle okay. that we're working on yes. here. So chocolate, chocolate list. And it's full of chocolate. Souffles are pretty scary for a lot of folks, but souffle, all it is, is egg white, and then you're depending upon. The, the steaming of the liquids in the egg whites while it cooks to cause rise. That's it. Yeah, I would love if people can take some photos for me and send them to me because I do not have the capability here like I do. It's, but see, I'm crushing the face. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever you're doing, you're, you're, yeah, you're going to be cut off. Oh, uh, no. 
But uh, okay. and the thing that's going to make this different, why this becomes a chocolate cake as opposed to just a souffle, yes. and I'll show you the difference here. Um, we're actually cooking these in a water bath mm -hmm. as opposed to just cooking them straight up as they are. A water bath. That's an interesting phrase. Um, no, all it's the purpose is okay. So if you're depending upon the souffle. If you're depending upon the heat and the steam to cause the rise, the water bath is just going to slow that down. And instead of getting a, a high-rise souffle, this is going to actually stay a little bit denser, and it's going to form a cake-like interior, which is going to be really good. So, it Sounds really good, and I can't wait to try it. For the water bath, all we're going to do is just going to take a 13 by 9 pan, and I'm going to grab a napkin here real quick. Sorry for the shaking on the camera. That's okay. Mark loves us, by the way. He loves us. Hey, Mark, we love you, too in the way that many men can love each other. Do you know Leslie? Do you know Leslie? <laughs> Would you like to love Leslie as well? <laughs> Leslie sounds like Leslie's British. Maybe. Okay, can you switch back over so I can see the camera real quick? Sure, you might want to do that. I mean, I might want to do that for you. Yeah. Okay, like, so, so what I have here is I've taken a uh, paper towel and I've put it in the bottom of the pan. Uh, the paper towel is so that when I put the water in here, this stuff doesn't slide around a whole lot. Okay. And then I'm going to take a measuring cup. Now, how many times have you made this dish before? Like, countless number of times? Or so, then I'm going to take a measuring cup with some water, and I'm going to pour this right over here. Mm -hmm. This is my very first time making this. Oh, is it? That's awesome. Absolutely. That's sweet. It's original. You're doing an awesome... It's like you've made it. That's why I was well, surprised. Like you made it. Well, this... Right? The water bath is typical for... Uh, cream brulees. Creme brulees? Creme brulees, yep. A water bath, that sounds like uh, something I do sometimes when I want to be clean. Well, hopefully it's more than sometimes. You know, between well, other, other times they're showers. Yeah. Showers. They're showers, then, they're not okay. growers. Since we're talking the souffle here, yes. and let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and use the dirty word, the S word. The souffle, no, leave that word, it's oh. fine. Um, the only trick to souffle is everybody says that you really got to be careful and you don't want the souffle to fall or anything like that. Mm -hmm. That's not Rubbish. an issue. Not for noise. It's going to take like a shotgun blast for just noise to make the souffle to fall. The thing that's going to kill your souffle is cool drafts. Mm. So close your oven, set your timer for 35 minutes, and forget that the damn thing exists. Forget it. Set it. <laughs> you opening the souffle, opening the door while the souffles are in there, yeah. almost certainly will cause them to fall. But not singing or noise or dancing. You know, don't get too carried away. Don't blast the Led Zeppelin or whatever. But of course, that would be what yeah. I would cashmere all over. All right. I was going to show you putting the uh, in the yeah, oven. We're good. That's oh, all camera. Okay. Well, you put it in the oven. You have to trust us. It is. Hey, y'all need to keep it down over there. Oh. The um, dead there. Cranky Dr. Bones of Money do. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, you guys want me to camera? What? Nah. Okay. <laughs> They're like, and who's talking over there? Then all this is just clean up for the ladies. Cranky Chef Boy or Lee. Oh. <laughs> that's oh. Alley Double. That's Alley Squared over there. <laughs> to the second hour. Yeah, to the second power. power. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. You talk for just a minute, Yeah, okay? so uh, can you talk while you're cleaning up, or...? Well, yeah, but I'm going to be way off camera over here. Oh, that's fine. That's that's crazy. So let me go check some comments. Thanks for everyone for tuning in, and we're having a great time live from Astoria and Bruiser the Dog. This is his wonderful kitchen. Uh, actually, why not? Let me just show you. I know he doesn't want me to, but I will show you. Oh, nope, sorry. It's like, don't. No, you can't see that. Nice anymore. try. <laughs> All right, so... So how's everybody doing out there tonight? We're doing great. Thanks for asking. Look, I got an audience. Has Leslie tuned in yet? Leslie has not tuned in. I'm, that's Allison, Allison, and Brigitte, 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 Brigitte. Brigitte. Don't forget that about Brigitte. Not brisket. Not brisket? No, brisket, brisket? is tasty, though. And we'll have to make Brisket's that next good. time. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a good. long prep. That's brisket. a long prep. <laughs> it's a, that's a four or five hour cook on brisket. Well, so we'll show up when it's done. You know? I don't know about brisket. I, I, you know, I have no idea. Just what I've heard. That's all. Yeah, it's brisketta. Brisketta oh. tasty. Husband. Yes, love. Do you have dinner on the boil for mommy? Um, after the show, I will. Oh. We have souffle. God, I'll be in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're yeah. doing shots of fireball over there, girl. Oh, this is lovely, on a, squirrel. On an empty. Hey, stomach. Is it is it one hundred percent empty? It's my ensure. I, 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 it's I, ensuring that I'm getting wet. I, I assure her that you know, uh -huh. Well, you do have some cold cut. Do you want to make one of those? Can you make one of the sandwiches or no? You, we had sandwiches. It was nothing fancy.
can we can we make one of those live or you would feel sure. Yeah, why not? You want a sandwich? Let's make it live. Sure. We got the buffalo chicken. No, chick buffalo chicken, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Wow. Really? <laughs> Peanut butter on a slab. Yes, that's what, what you're getting. Sh- yes, that's what my lady's getting. Uh, <laughs> really? What? Did you on air? On air? Peanut butter and jelly. I wanted to get jelly pockets. Oh, I don't want any of your clutter, Sammy. So I just want whatever's in there. <laughs> What's going on? Taste that. <laughs> and we're slowly sober, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so the soufflés. Soufflé, I hear that's I French for... I got it. Well. It's French for pain in the ass, is mm-hmm. what it is. That's well, hey, the, the French are going to get upset. Well, well, they're not they're watching. Lost. They're sleeping. Yeah, well, they're, they're sleeping. not named Leslie, so we don't check. They're right. Leslie, okay. too easy me. <laughs> this is a, a bag of fantastic semolina loaves that I got from the bakery. Yes. And, Ooh. whoa, sorry about that. Bread. Almost got away from me. Yeah, but it didn't, so, you know. That sound is the ice cream man. Don't be scared. Yeah, the ice cream yeah, man comes by, really like, good. after all the kids' bedtime. We have, we think it's a front for a drug operation. Oh, we so they know. put no. drugs in the ice cream? No, you know what it is? No. He's got dry cleaning pickups to do. No. <laughs> he's got stops he's got to make. He's got a little stash. A couple of people he's got to feed up. Yeah, he makes other things in the back. Nice. Awesome sauce. New items. Like oh no, we lost two people. They had to go. Cynthia, thanks for watching. And Mark. Cynthia, take care. Take it easy. We're we're Cynthia cutting the bread. Cynthia is going to meet the Leslie. Yes. So G4 rapid fire. Uh, this is a tough one. Cooking or eating? Would you choose which one? It's Sophie's choice. <sighs> eating. All my cooking is so that I can eat a really good meal. Beer or wine? Beer every single time. Wine for Allison. Allison. But beer for me every single time because I can brew it. I know how to brew my own beer. Oh, that has, why did so you that awesome. the next show brewing your own beer? Is that tough? Uh, I can do an all green batch in about an hour and a half to two hours. If okay. I had the gear, but I don't have the gear, and I definitely don't have the space for it. And what? And so your favorite beers are bitter, dark. What I do not color? like bitter beers. I'm not a big fan of IPAs. You my bitter. theory, yeah, I'm bitter enough after a bunch of XYs. Like a black coffee. My theory. When you say is, bunch. Is there more than one? No. Uh, there's two. There's two. There's two. This one, okay, go ahead. You know, I know you want to ask. Charm. Go ahead. I know you want to ask. What's the story with this one? No, 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 no. We, no, the story is off limits. We'll do it later. No, it's not off limits. This beautiful lady over I here. I know the story. I your brother told Okay, you about it. Real, real quick. This beautiful lady that I'm married to over here that I got married to last uh, June in Central Park, um, her and I dated... 20 years ago, over 20 years you guys ago, were teenagers. and we, we we were in our early 20s, mid 20s. That was close. We almost got married then. We didn't. We went our separate ways, and about three years ago, we met up with each other again on Facebook. Hey, can you oh, I just wanted to show that there's a knife here. Yeah, there's a, there's a nice little santoku there. Beautiful knife. Uh, you're not allowed to play with that. So anyway, <laughs> that's not what I heard. I signed up for it. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Anyway, uh, 20 years goes down the road, and uh, we reconnected. We're married. Absolutely very much in love. At least I am. I uh, mix <laughs> signals some days. So. Aww. Well, yeah, I know. So. And uh, her name happens to be Allison, and one of the reasons she was going to marry you is because your last name is Allison? And yes. That was one of the reasons. So she is now officially Allison Allison, and last... Uh, baby, when was it you went to get your social security after the wedding? September? Uh, yeah. And did they laugh? Was there any... Oh, yeah. uproariously. I was nearly arrested. They didn't yeah. believe you. Oh, there was a huge incident behind, you yeah. know, nine feet of glass, like, you know, somebody's going to go in there and level the place. And, you know, they acted as if I didn't understand how to fill out the form. Oh, because they, they, you, they thought you were you're putting two first names. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And I said, well, I understand the language. <laughs> I, am, I am not. This is why you need to And reading English. Yeah, she's got more college than I hear this? Than Tell us if you can hear. Where it says last name. That's where I put my last name. Mm. And where it says first name, you put your first that's name. where I put my last name. Which just first happens to be the same as your last name. So what part of first and last name do you think I don't get? <laughs> I'm getting a manager. So <laughs> you your name is Allison Allison. That's not, that's like, I mean, there's got to be like Chinese people named Lee Lee, right? Oh, what about Philip Phillips? Philip Phillips, well, he's still got the ass though, but well, yeah. What about Leslie Chantupo? Oh. <laughs> what, what about, leave Leslie out of there. <laughs> Um, yeah. All right, so anyway, Whoa. from the drunk contingent over there. No, they're just having fun. Yep. They're on their first, second. 
So we're making we're still making a sandwich. We can't really. Totally, can I? Can no, I this, make this is sandwich? no. That's don't good. Don't touch it. It's just a good sandwich. Don't it's worry. It's a good sandwich, and I like it. So uh, where were we? Football or video games? Wow, really? Selfie's choice. Uh, wow, football or video wow, games? Wow, you're gonna really have to struggle with that. I'm gonna right? sweat over that you one. Wanna, well, but um, is there one that? Video games are 24 by 7 throughout the year, football, but yeah. football, you know, it's uh, it's 16 games a year. I'm play a football video game. Uh, you know, I don't like that. I'm not a fan. You're not a fan of that. Not okay. Fan of so both men, and because James Lipton, it's very James Lipton of me. What's your favorite curse word? F it. Just fuck. fuck. Fuck, yeah, there it is. It's multi-purpose. It's a, a verb. It's a noun. You can. We're talking about this in a, in a hangout. Adjective, verb, noun. Everything. It is. It, it is the all-purpose. It's the Swiss Army knife of foul language. I am, however, uh, I know there's an awful lot of people out there who take a, take a very dim view of foul language. Right. Uh, eight years in the Navy, and I'm a firm believer that it is an integral part of expressing And so yourself. how did you choose you know, So how did you choose to be in the Navy? You want to tell a little background about the Navy? Yeah, my dad was in the Army, and I love my dad. He's awesome people. But I wanted something to be able to compete with him. Uh, and so from the remaining three branches that were left, if I wasn't going to go Army, uh, I wanted to go see things. And while well, I was in the Navy, I went to the Persian Gulf twice. I went to Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Philippines, Hawaii. Is your favorite? Um, Hong Kong. Okay. Without a doubt, Hong Kong was my Food, favorite city. In all of it. The whole nine yards. I loved it. <laughs> no, you know, I really didn't do much of that in Hong yeah. Kong. That was other ports, but... Uh, <laughs> other ports. You have. Is it true what they say about the ports? The yes. From port to port? And yeah, um, it's... It's, That's you know, exactly why I didn't marry in the first place. Oh, there's a real reason! <laughs> Bang! She's like, I like my body the way it is. Hey, yeah. you want us to have some meat? I was worried. Worried. I was sick. Yeah, so that's interesting, right, though? I mean, at one point, no one cared about that stuff, and now it's, like, on everybody's mind. Yeah, now it's absolutely on everybody's mind. Right, so have some sex safe, safe sex at the same time. Absolutely. So uh, did you cook at all in the Navy, or was it strictly... No. Uh, no, while I was in the Navy, I had the coolest job short of fighter pilot that you can ever have. Uh, seriously, because fighter pilot's wicked cool. Um, did they turn you down? Turn you down. I had bad eyes at the time. I've had LASIK since. Okay. Uh, but when I was in the Navy, I shot Tomahawk cruise missiles. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, for the first Gulf War, um, the USS Paul Foster, uh, who we just went to, no, not anymore, okay, good. not anymore, okay. um, we launched the cruise missiles that opened the Gulf War, the first Gulf War. You I started a war. were the overture. No, no, no. I, wa I was the person who punched the button on the very first you, one. You started, started the Gulf War. I started the first Gulf War. I truly did. Yes. Is that serious? Totally. I didn't know that. Look on that wall right there behind you. Oh, that's yours? Yep. Well, it's an artist. I mean, edition. still, that's the one you... Holy yeah. moly. So, Chef Leal is a peaceful, awesome, loving guy. <laughs> <laughs> the first Gulf War. Yeah. And uh, did you actually... But you didn't actually like, meet the president or anything like that? No, 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 no. no. It, any, was, it, was played get, into, so it was played into a team of Can you talk a little bit about getting that command to pull that first trigger? Well, yeah. Um, so, it was Commander Tim A. Hearn who was uh, in charge of the boat at the time. Mm -hmm. This was... Uh, you parked outside of Kuwait, or...? We were parked uh, just north of Bahrain, inside the Persian Gulf. Okay. And uh, he came on the announcing system uh, January the 16th at about 6 o'clock in the evening. And he said, folks, he said, I want everybody to know, um, we, have been, we have received orders to get this show started tonight. Everybody relax, take a deep breath, follow your training, follow the orders of your officers, and we're going to come through this okay. And we did. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, right? You fire the first shot, and you're still here to breathe. And yeah. Sick me out. Yeah. So did you, now did you, I mean, I don't know how much you talk about it or what you want to talk about, but sure. after you fired the first shot, was, there must have been a response, right? Yeah, hold on. Let me, okay. let me deliver this. Deliver the sandwich. And this lovely sandwich. Let me go. I can. Okay. You can. It's fine. Let me check the audience. How's the audience doing? How are you doing? He's delivering dinner to his lovely Alice and Alice's wife. And there's a kiss with the sandwich, and he did. He does smell like there's um. Tongue there's tongue edge, but it smells a little like uh, a little like smoking jacket, a little like wine and wow. brisket. Okay, so you were asking about um, the response and everything. <laughs> yes, it was kind of interesting because we were um, in the Persian Gulf, and we were part of the USS Paul Foster, the USS Princeton. Uh, we were attached to, I believe it was the Iowa Battle Group at the time. Okay, cool. We were temporarily transferred from the Ranger to the Iowa, and the Iowa did some launching, the Princeton did some launching, we did some launching, and uh, that opening night, the the missiles are subsonic. 
Right. They only travel about 500 miles an hour only, okay, but they, they travel less than the speed of sound. And they go over 700 miles. So it's about an hour and a half flight time. From the moment we launched, we initially launched that first night, we launched four of them. Us, the Iowa launched two or three, the Princeton launched half a handful. And uh, all of these missiles uh, were in flight for over an hour. And uh, we had gone and gotten cleaned up, and we were in the cruise lounge wow. listening to the BBC. And the BBC is... It's always, having, it's always the BBC. Yeah, yeah, it's always the BBC. It's always the British. They're really. having a, an interview with some expert who is saying that Saddam Hussein was not going to back down, and he didn't know what coalition forces were going to have to do. And we're sitting there going, you idiots, weapons are in flight. We cannot recall them. We cannot disengage right. this attack. Right. These guys is are this fast. Is this the only official firing, or did you fire them? Was there more involved? Um, the more? Paul Foster fired 40 of them all total. Okay. The Princeton fired 60 cruise missiles. For the entire Gulf War, there were 240-some-odd. And totally so was it a coincidence, or luck, or you knew you would be first? How we worked hard. We trained as a group, as a ship. We trained very, very hard to be that reliable and that... Um, that so you don't just get cooking on the cooking show. Right, yeah, you get, you you get, get military you expertise. Get, you, get, you get stuff that can take us out. So, wow, that's pretty amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah. I didn't even know that, that you were the first one. Yeah, and absolutely. And so did you, do, now after you fire the first, it's war, so I don't know, do you have a drink after the first one? Or? No, we were on board the ship, and we were ready for a response. And uh, if you go back and look at the timeline of the Gulf War, um, the first response was the scuds coming out of Iraq, going right. into Iran, um, to Israel and going into Saudi Arabia and stuff like that. Uh, and we were worried about anti-ship. We were worried about you know other stuff. None of that ever. Yeah, none of none of that ever materialized. So we were relatively safe. We were a lot safer than you know a lot of other people in that war. Yeah. I, and definitely, if you're talking. Because wasn't there? Didn't they? Wasn't there a time where they lit like they they used the oil and they lit fires and stuff? Yeah. Um, Saddam Hussein's uh, strategy for all of his forces as he was pulling out of Kuwait was to light all of the uh, oil wells on fire in the desert, and even out in the middle of the Persian Gulf, it was. Did it didn't get as dark. Some of those or? Well, we we couldn't see them, but we could see the smoke, and we spent three or four weeks where we didn't see sunshine just because of all the smoke that was in the Persian Gulf. Wow. Um, he did a lot of he, it was a lot of ecological damage he did, and it was a scorched earth policy worse than anyone else has ever deployed. Um, yeah, so, yeah it, was, it was horrific. And it's amazing, too, that it took not just one, but it took two wars, to, or two missions to get Right, there. right. Um, and my only complaint of the war, you know, and, and I hate to sound gung-ho, and I hate to sound, you know, all this... We should have finished it on the first go. We could have, and you could have, but we we totally could have. And there's been so much talk about what what would happen if you took them out, and we've seen what what happened after they came out. Right, it's pretty crazy. Right. Like, one yeah. of the one of the biggest problems, and you know, I don't want to get too deep into politics right. because it can be contentious. But one of the biggest problems that you, you run into. Right. You fired the first one. Here. Well, uh, anytime any government gets into regime change, you're really messing in other people's affairs. You really need to be careful. Now, in a situation like with Hussein, where it's an obvious dictator who's obviously crushing his people and such, okay, but the U.S. has been participant in regime change for peacefully elected regimes before. Right. You know, and, and we... Well, undercover missions. We shouldn't be doing that. You know, we should, we well, should be a little I mean, more there is, well, isolation. There is, I, mean, I know we talk about freedom and stuff, but there right. is a sense. I mean, people, the world works on money, power, and I mean, it really, I mean... Somebody uh, just yesterday... Well, we haven't heard an alarm yet. I was wrong in my predictions. Well, we still have more time. Um, anyway, uh, somebody said recently, you know, with regards to the Occupy and everything, that uh, and this was, it was not Warren Buffett, but it was one of his cronies, one of the big, you know, way up there. He was saying that Congress acts and serves at the behest of Wall, Wall Street. Yeah. You know, and it's sad. It's I, I don't doubt it in the least, but that isn't what the country was founded on. It wasn't. And we yeah, need to get back to that. Yeah, and I think that one of the, you know, I just talk about the world in general about how, like, you you know, everyone was taught a certain thing. You were taught that the world works with money and there's certain things you have to do. You know, the typical, you know, you get married, you have kids, you have free tenants, you have this, that, and you have a job and you have retirement. And this, you know, the internet and everything else. And, and strawberries, you have strawberries. You have strawberries have for the chocolate flourless cake. That's, that's 
It's getting ready to come out here in just a minute. But yeah, but it's amazing that uh, that the world, if, if money was not an issue, like, I mean, if people were not fighting over power because at least with money, I mean, if we, if every if everyone worked together and they couldn't rely on money, would we have so many wars? I mean, religion, I guess. But. Well, um, it's all about power. E even, even, and I need to state this one delicately, even religion is all about power, the ability to tell people to do something and they do it. Okay, and there are a lot of readers out there, a lot of followers of mine and of Matthew's, who look at their, take their religion very personally, and I am not gainsaying yeah, that, I'm know. not talking about that. I'm talking about the bulk of the world religions are driven by power, just like the governments are, unfortunately. If human nature was different, we could have a completely different social structure, but throughout history, this is the predominant. It's a hierarchical. There's one person at top, there's a few people below him, or mostly him, occasionally her. Mm -hmm. There's fewer people below that, and then there's the masses. Well, I can't thank you enough for talking about that. I mean, it was personal. It was, it was, it's true. You know, but you, so uh, just not to, to lighten the move, how much, how much time left on the souffle? Oh, uh, souffle is uh, 20 minutes, so 20 keep minutes. stalling. Yeah, cool. Like so this, like this. Like oh, no, 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 isn't this? Isn't well, this? that's the stretch, just stretch right. it out. This yeah. is wrap, this is kind of wrap it up, wrap it up. Oh, no, then we're doing one of these. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, like, we're making taffy. The, is that what that is, taffy? I guess, or, sure. Yeah, or dough, stretch it's a cook, dough. No, I, do, I would need no on you the uh, surface, it, or in the kitchen aid to be Well, let's go, uh, you know, HOA's cooking and dining. Now, you've done a few of your own hangouts on air. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you have this little skillet. So tell us a little bit about some of your own hangouts on air and your own ideas of what, what's coming, what you've done. Uh, so um, Eric McKee and I spent last year uh, holding uh, tr three a week and then wow. two a week um, cooking weeks. school. Uh, yeah, you know, when we first started, we were very, very aggressive with the schedule, and we had a great time with it. We had some great people sign in. Um, we made some really, really good friends uh, in those hangouts. We had a we had a lot of fun with them. Um, you know, after the first of the year, we kind of refocused where we're going and everything. We sort of pulled back from the hangout specific, and we're currently in the midst of writing our own cookbook nice. in the form of our newsletter. And we do a, a uh, infrequently <laughs> kind of every Monday-ish newsletter. You do, yeah, you do. That we're actually about three weeks behind on right now. Um, but that newsletter is called The Skills. Mm -hmm. And Eric and I refer to it as not, not as a cookbook, but as a cooking book. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about the recipes. It's about the skills that you need to come here, stand here in the work triangle of your kitchen, and be successful. Um, so this is knife skills, this is, uh, this is sauce skills, this is, you know, how do you handle specific cuts of meats, how do you do things like that. Um, and, and that's really the thing that we want to be bringing to cooking. Not another collection of recipes. If I want a recipe, seriously, my first place to go to, allrecipes.com, and then I do two things. Uh, let's say I'm looking for a recipe for a uh, chicken casserole. Mm -hmm. Why I would ever cook one, I don't know, but <laughs> just theoretically. People like chicken casserole, though. Chicken, I mean, you know, just be filled with it. Go, go to allrecipes.com, yeah. right. search for whatever your dish is, sort them by user reviews, and then start at the top. It's kind of like Amazon for cooking. It is. Start at the top and read each one of these, and the very first one that doesn't include cream of chicken mushroom soup, <laughs> Go with that one. The very first one to have all natural ingredients and not out of a box, a bottle, or a can. Okay, go with that one. And I, I've never had film yet. It, those recipes have always been Yeah, you must have really a good. few that are your own personal. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What is your, so what is one of your favorite things to make? Is, it, is there anything specific that you love cooking that you can't get excited about? Hot stickers. I love hot, hot stickers. stickers. Appetizers? Uh, appetizers is, um, I've just started, and I, I'm late to the game on this, but... It's a huge game, and you can't cover all parts of it. I'm uh, I'm just coming into getting to pay attention to crostinis. Yeah, I mean, kind of, yeah. I love crostinis. Yeah. They're so good. I mean, they're probably I mean, dumplings are hard to do. No, well, I could from scratch. I could do from dumplings scratch, in yeah. an hour right now. Yeah. Right now, I You're like I don't have it. No, I could. I guarantee you. This is that pot, that noodle recipe that I was talking about. Almost a little, a few variations. Some uh, folding techniques and then a filling to go into the center of it. Nice. And, that's, and you know what? I've got the roast chicken right in there that would make what a is, great filling. 
So, wow. So you've ever made chicken dumplings before? Huh? Oh, I love wow. chicken and dumplings, you but that's seen different. It or you fry it? Well, that's different, okay? The dumplings that I'm talking about, the popstickers, are oriental dumplings. Right, I'm talking about that too. Okay, okay, okay the yeah, chicken and dumplings, yeah. that's a southern dish. And that's, uh, that's uh, chicken thighs, breasts, chicken meat that has been reduced so that it's basically shredded mm -hmm. and then put into essentially a gravy. It's, what, it's like a self-made gravy. And it's I hear gravy at Thanksgiving. So you make your own gravy. And you say that like it's wrong? Huh? It's not, know. no. Oh, yeah. Um, walnut, uh, walnut sausage. Cornbread dressing. Sausage. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, it's Feels delicious. Flat. It's delicious. So... Um, Going to G plus, what is so I probably asked before. So what is your favorite part of G, G plus? If it's hangouts, that's cool. But if it's, is there something besides hangouts? Maybe no, maybe? it's the um, I I like I like so much of what G plus is doing. I like the fact that it's like Twitter. In mm. that, and, and before I get crucified here mm. for the third time tonight, let's just hear me <laughs> out. It's like Twitter in that I don't have to have your permission to hear what you're saying. Right. If you're saying it publicly. I just have to follow you, right. okay? Facebook, if I want to hear, then I've got to send subscribe. you a request. Well, you have to now, say, yeah. yeah, but that's a group subscribe didn't come to Laughter G Plus, now did it? It didn't. It was a response. Yeah, so yeah, I believe yeah. in the responses. So I'll stick with the original if you don't mind. The original. I like all of it. But uh, So what and what feature would you like to want to see integrated? Is it something related to cooking or is something gaming? The Hangouts. No, the Hangouts. Um, the yeah. Hangouts are really, 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 really good. And really not there yet. Okay. What do you think is missing? Do you think it's the sound with, and the audio? With nothing but love for the for the Google yeah, yeah, yeah. team. That's what any that may or may not be watching. Because you better be watching. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like more control over my Hangouts. Mm -hmm. I would Moderator. like the ability Moderator. Moderator ability to not only mute but kick somebody who is being disruptive. Okay. And it's my Hangout. Why can't I kick somebody? And I know for the Hangouts on there, they don't actually let you try. They, there's a public option that you can't. I know. So. Why not? Hang on, on hang on Hangout. Why can't I go you what? be oh, gone? Too. Well, and so there was a big debate and you can, you can you know, block people and everyone can block them and then they're gone or something like that. But I think that that was the if, thing. That if it, me it makes more seven, sense for Hangouts on Air, but, he, but it makes if, sense. If, to go. if me and eight other people right. all have to go block some idiot to get him, that's great. But guess what? He's still taking up a slot in my hangar. Right, right. And now I've got to, I've got to break out some sort of social engineering of insulting his mother or something to get him to go away. Right, right. That and I know they talked about, like, oh, everyone's going to start their own hangout, but that's kind of annoying. That's not all right. Right. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. then the other issue is that, and that's the reason why people don't want to hang out publicly, and that's kind of taken away from public. They're like, right. well, it's too much work. It, it it's is. It's a, it's a pain in the butt. So uh, on the Internet, there have been forums and vid voice chats and even video chat chat left for decades now that have had this basic functionality that G Plus doesn't have. And, right. like, and I think it's more, guys. I don't think it's that they can't do it. I think it's more of a... They're debating about it. I think they really, and I know for a year all, now. Get over I know, the I know we're all. Make a choice. I know. Let's go. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Well, they gave a choice. They're making it's a choice. It's not that I don't love you, Google Their guys. choice was that they don't want it. I mean, I think, and I think, I could see why. I think that maybe, maybe kick should only be, maybe kick should only be invoked when it goes public. Maybe that's what it should be invoked. Yeah. Nah, I should always. Always I should again. always have the ability to control my own. But you're saying the person that started. So when the person that leaves it, then what happens? The person, the you have to give it to somebody. Or it goes away. Oh, that's another issue that's been handled well, by, you know, you just, you nominate, like, the, the, the person started it, the next person in. You know, you do it first in, gets the leadership. I guess, but then it gets a little tricky, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so but this is I know, I know but that's what they think about. By I, other people. They think about all that stuff, like, okay, what happens it's then? It's all been solved by other people. Yeah, but times. where else can you hang out with 10 people at once? <laughs> Ignore the fact that we're talking video. Okay. Go with Ventrilo. Go with TeamSpeak. Go with any voice oh, chat. Okay. okay. Go with any standard IRC chat room, just text-based chat. This is all, all of these questions have been answered before. Mm -hmm. You don't have to reinvent the world just because you're putting video to it. Okay. You know? That makes sense. Uh, saying, when you think saying. of Hangouts, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, you one, two, th me. no. Well, I'm right after you. Uh, um, one, two, three, click, and I'm in a video conference with somebody. That is nothing less than transformative in how you do business. My family has started uh, about once every other week or so. We do a hangout with my dad in Austin, my sister, my dad in the Hill Country, so my sister in Austin. They do. 
only for these hangouts. They don't do anything else with them. My son in Virginia going to military school. And he's and going to, he wants to be in the Navy too? Or oh, he is in the Navy. He is. He's in the Navy. So proud of that guy. Yeah. Steve, love you, buddy, if you're on, if you're watching. Okay. Awesome, Steve. Yeah. Just be careful of those ports, I'm just saying. It smells decent. It smells good. It smells it smells like you smell the chocolate. Yeah. Can you guys smell the chocolate over there? But you cannot. And why are you so much taller? Are you on painter still? <laughs> There oh. is a ceiling fan over your head. Little You're little. a giant. I'd show you, but I died. You can't. You can't. Nice. She's trying to make her shoes. Wow, those are hooker those shoes. That's a nice legs you got there. Shoes. There's a lot of paint. We got a hooker, man. Yeah, hey, you can turn around if you want to. Anyway, there are ladies present. Uh, so what about, you mentioned someone else before on G+, love for your the guy that was doing it with you. The uh, Eric McKee, yeah. Eric, Eric McKee. is, um, him and I have known each other for over a decade. Okay. Uh, best friend in the world, he's a really, really great guy, he lives in Portland, Oregon. And you uh, met him on G+, or no? Oh, no, 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 yeah. uh, we met him in a video game, actually. Or that, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, You're trying to think of a video game? I'm trying to remember the name of it. Yeah, uh, like right. Anyway, yeah. Uh, we met video gaming and uh, have, you know, we've met each other many, 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 many times in real life. Hell, I lived on his couch for three months, Ooh. you know, at one time period. In Portland? Yeah, in Portland. Nice. Love Portland. Portland was great. Just yeah. no Eric jobs Rice there. lives there. Oh, is there jobs there? Okay. They're not for my, my line of work, no. Now, is your line of work cooking, or you also do other You do something else. It'll be cooking one of these days sooner or later, but uh, for real money, it's IT project management. Okay. And yeah. so what does that consist of for you? I mean, you're just... Being really, really, really good with computers and organizing other people and telling them what to do and going home. Are you, do you work for a company? Do you work for yourself? <laughs> um, a private contractor right now, uh, between projects as yeah. it is. So, you know, that's all right. That's cool. Yeah. Baby, uh, can I get these put away for you? That was really good. Allison, Allison, who's of the Sammy made that for her husband? Delicious. Well, thank you very much. Delicious. She made it into a Jewish word. It was a delicious sandwich. You're going to have a G in there. Watch the cord right there. Awesome. That's, so, uh, is there anyone else on G Plus that you think deserves love as chef? I mean, there are a lot of chefs. Oh, as chef, uh, yeah, there's, you know, there are some really, really good chefs on G Plus, but the thing that I have, I have volunteered to um, Natalie Villarobos. Villarobos. Villa Lobos. Yeah. Villa Lobos. Robus um, is her evil twin sister. Oh, we is it? Talk about much. Awesome. Wow. She might be the party girl. Who knows? Wow. Anyway, um, I have volunteered for Natalie on several occasions, and what I would love to do, what's the strongest professional presence on G+. Me. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you have alcohol to drink over there somewhere? <laughs> I have an outburst. Well, talk it all off. We'd show you the outburst, because you heard it. So, we want enough, kids? Yeah. Okay, professional. It's strongest? Yeah. Who's... Who's like the biggest that you see? It's this share Friday, and it's this. It's the photographers. Oh yeah, you all. Oh, you meant to be very specific. Okay, you meant no, the, the photographers. Right? They have a huge presence. Yeah, they are huge. There was a photography conference hosted by Google. Oh yeah, there's been a bunch. There's been a lot of photo walks. We have one in New York. We had right. Trey had his and stuff and stuff. Last. I want cooking to have that kind of look. I want. Why doesn't it? All things to have that kind of cooking. No, just you, cooking. You like just cooking. Just cooking. Film, music. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. Nah, screw the film. Just Although, cooking. screw the film. Well, we're going to film about the cooking. Well, look, you're here. I'm giving you this love. Oh, I know. I love well, it. You're all giving you. love. Thank you very, very much. So. Oh, my God. I can't wait to taste the truck and see you play. Uh, about another seven minutes. Yeah. Seven minutes in heaven. Yeah. That's what I used to like to play. And, uh... I don't know why I looked over there. Yeah. I don't, you know what, yeah, <laughs> nothing exists behind the camera as far as I'm yeah, concerned right now. Uh, so, cat picks, dog picks, animated gifts, feelings, love, hate, okay, so I I'm not a cat fan. Yeah. I, I don't ever like to see any animal hurt or injured, mm -hmm. but I am far and away a dog fan, way more than ever cats in any way, shape, or form. Cats... Um, and so how do you feel about seeing any of that stuff in your stream? Like, is it is it like what? Do you, when you look at your stream, like, are you specifically looking for cooking? Do you just want to be entertained? You know, just a little bit of entertainment. I spend a lot of time on uh, Reddit. Have right. You? Yes. Okay. So Reddit's a good one for just here's a whole bunch of. Do you random post? Or you just kind of look. I post also. Okay. I do. Uh, post uh, all it's kinds of stuff. It's amazing how because I because I grew up like did was the big one. Yeah. And then stumbled upon was there and read about this tiny little thing that people weren't using. And, and those other two were, yeah. yeah now it's Dig is no longer, Stumble is still fairly cool. When I've read everything on Reddit, it's in all of the things I subscribe to, I'll switch over to Stumble upon and, right. and randomly do. 
But um, I mean, is that? Would you rather spend time doing that than looking at your plush fan? Is there more interesting stuff out there? Um, it depends upon what I'm looking for. Um, partly why I go outside of G+, Plus is specifically for that, to get outside of G+, Plus, outside of find some of that good stuff, and occasionally bring it in. Um, also, you know, at the end of a long day, when I'm looking to, you know, I just need to decompress my brain for a little bit. You don't want to think about who's posting. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's G+, Plus. I don't care if it's Stumble, I don't care if it's Reddit, I don't care if it's Dig. Just, okay, computer, internet, Entertain me for a few minutes. Let me let me just chill. Now, wouldn't it be great? Now, there is voice activation. Wouldn't it be great? It, it, don't you have this? You just be like, this is what I want. It knows what you want. No, know, that'd be time. scary. Negative. Would that, that would be completely open? scary. <laughs> oh, it's kind of the operation. That would be completely <laughs> scary. Be okay. okay. I'm very familiar with incognito browsing. Thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> tour uh, onion layer routers and, uh, uh, you know, all of... the Navy, maybe. Uh, no, no, just my... Stuff? Well, the Navy was kind of the... The, the impetus for it. Once I got out of the Navy, mm. there aren't that many corporations that have cruise missile launchers no, on not, their corporate right. headquarters. Right. I mean, if I ever become an evil millionaire, I'll, I'll have a Would cruise Would you have an underground one. layer and all that? You know what I want? Black helicopters. Why? Because... Why? Because that is the sign you have made it as an evil genius. When you have your own black... Not a, light, not a layer? It has to be a black helicopter? Black helicopter. Not a cat? What about... No. It? Think about any action-adventure movie where the good guy stumbles upon a secret, finds the treasure. What's the next thing that happens? The it's, no, it's the black helicopters from the bad guys coming in. I want those black helicopters. Nice. I do. All right. So I do you black have a favorite villain? Or a doctor, besides the Doctor Evil, yes, it's old school. Or uh, you know, uh, Doctor Evil. Uh, you know, uh, that yeah. Doctor Horrible sing along blog was hilarious. Yeah, Absolutely, you're making a sing along thing. My what about is it a villain. James Bond villain or is it someone? Else? Well, if you're thinking villain, the classics are always the James Bond, the James right. Bond's ones. You know, there was Doctor No, there was Goldfinger. You know, there was Quincy Jones. Yeah. <laughs> or not Grace Jones. I think. You didn't say that. Um, let's see. <laughs> I can be, what else? Let's see, Grace. What? <laughs> uh, right uh, to the trachea. <laughs> um, it's a joke because it's going to take a lot of the deck. You know what? You know the guy who did real life, a little bit of trivia, and I don't remember this guy's name. I think it was Moffat, but I could be wrong. The one guy who did more damage than, than anybody else. Okay. And the scary part is he was really trying to help out. This was a, uh, an industrial chemist slash engineer at the turn of the century when the Model Ts and the initial um, cars were just becoming really popular. Right. Cars had a huge problem with what was called knock, where unburnt, if, I, if, if you're a gearhead, forgive me while <laughs> I try to stumble my way through this. They're like, you're doing it Un wrong. Uncombusted gasoline would build up in the, in the uh, heads and the cylinders, and then all of a sudden it would all detonate at once, and it could damage, physically damage the engine. Plus, it was that backfire that you see on the old Model Ts. Well, this guy invented this really neat gasoline that completely eliminated NOC. It was leaded gasoline, and he found that if you liquefied a little bit of lead, mm -hmm. which is highly, highly, highly poisonous, yes. never leaves your system, and does not decay in the environment. And he determined that if you put a few drops of, of uh, treated lead per gallon of liquid gas, you eliminated the knock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all of the big gas companies at the time jumped on board and swore up and down that this was completely safe and completely healthy and all this other stuff. Hmm. Background lead levels in the United States and eventually in the world went up by over a thousand percent in the next three decades. Wow. And that maintained until the late 70s, early 80s when unleaded gas really started to become popular. Okay, so all this lead that's in the environment which is highly poisonous and it causes very aggressive behaviors, very psychotic behaviors, this guy is responsible. But he wasn't done because the next thing that he invented was fluorocarbons, which caused problems with the ozone layer. Yeah, and he's just like this walking ball of ecological disaster. And I don't remember his name, so maybe somebody can... Do a Google search for the guy who invented ethyl gasoline. His name will be at the top of that list. Do we use ethyl gasoline? Not anymore. We don't. No, it's all done. unleaded now. It's all unleaded. Okay. It's all unleaded. But it used to be all leaded gas was the, was the standard. He did a ton of damage, and he didn't know he was doing it. You know? 
You know, he's doing. Speaking of damage, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I mean, yeah. you. Uh, when you say you use it, I mean, you still have it. Do you use it less than G plus? Use it the same mm-hmm. more? I mean, how does he still use it? For use for being amazingly technologically savvy, I mean, I've been in the IT field for twenty years you have now. No choice. I, I not huge tremendous. I don't really go out of my way for social media. Are so Uh oh. Press the change, it'll be. Okay, so before I pull this out, because this is a really challenging um, right. dish, in spite of how easily it goes together, Julia Child, who is my hero. Julia Child, yes. Julia Child, baby, do bonjour. Bonjour. There we go. Oh my god, okay. it goes to Julia Child, it's drinking in our apartment. Oh, Julia, Julia made a comment. She said, never, never apologize for your food because it's always going to be tasty. I don't know what I haven't tasty. looked at these souffles in 35 minutes. I have no clue what it I'm about ready. It smells amazing. It smells That's good. That's enough. Okay. Oh, now can we do a camera thing or no? You're like, yeah. sure. Bring the camera over. Camera here. bring it over. It, this is going to be like when Geraldo opened up. Uh, whose was it? Tomb. Oh, oh, Al- Capone's Al- tomb. Al- yeah, this might be completely, you know, flat. I don't. You're like, know. you want to stay off camera? Watch yourself. Watch yourself. That's a leg breaker. Oh, right oh. there. Watch the vino. You can break a okay. I can break a whole heart. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the oven and I'm going to go right over here on the All right. This is Lee Allison. This is me. Ah! All right. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Souffle. The voice you're hearing is neither mine nor Lee's, but the voice of Allison. Allison. Right. Can you get closer? Can we get All right. Watch yourself right here. Let's see. Strawberry. Let me bring them to you. Oh, these came out. look delicious. If you haven't, if you stopped tuning in, you made a mistake because now we got a finished product. No one makes finished products. Like okay. That. Now, we're looking at these, and it's a fairly mild dome. If this had been a true souffle, if I had cooked it outside of the water bath, if you take a look, if you Matthew, zoom in on this right, like right over here. See how cracked this is right here and how this one edge is, is raised up right through here? That's a souffle would have violently risen up to like two inches above, but the water bath really mellowed these out, and these really these really settled in quite a bit. So I am super okay. super happy with how these turned out. All right. So our next trick, if the ladies are done making fun, is to get these out and let them cool for just a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar, dress them with a the strawberry, and we're going to eat in about five minutes. Strawberry. And that's when we'll do it at Conversations Plus. We'll get a yeah. bunch of you in here. And uh, we'll do some more eating and drinking and spitzing and spotting. And that sounds like spotting. It's not like McClenting and... By the way, if you're black, I love you. That was not a Schwarza joke. Okay. Wow, really? Well, really? Also, because like you know, the, the color chocolate. of the chocolate. It's what? chocolate. That's all okay, it means. you're really? cut off. All right, cut mount off. that thing back over there. Wow, that's what she said. Don't mount in the presence of Leslie. Uh oh, yeah. is Leslie here? He's no. coming over. Now, when yeah. you say Leslie, we're not talking about Leslie Nielsen because he's dead. Yes, my. <laughs> Tell him your favorite. Oh God. Okay, my absolute favorite. When Leslie Nielsen passed away last year, or the year before, was it? I think so, yes. That one. Oh, you can see all of our coats over there, Matthew. Thank you very much. What did I, did I, is the camera angle wrong? No, it's fine, it's fine. It's good. All right, I like coats. Coats and chocolate. All right, we need to raise it up just a little Ray, bit. You raised me up? I can't do more than that. <laughs> there we go. Seymour Phillips coats. All right. Um, anyway, when he uh, passed, there was a uh, thread that I saw on the Internet that was talking about... Uh, what did that thread said? It was talking about the favorite quotes from Frank Drubin of uh, Police Academy fame. Police Squad. Uh, Police say. Squad. I'm sorry. You're, you're right. You're Academy cut off. Is, you're cut off. No, Academy is... It's, that's Steve That's Steve Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Yeah. And, and anyway. that yeah. Guy. Uh, the favorite quote, the all-time, my all-time favorite, was uh, from, I think, the second movie. And he said... He was doing a voiceover going into a scene. He said... Like a midget at a urinal, I was going to have to stay on my toes. <laughs> and I just thought that was so I, I mean, obviously, everyone thinks something like, surely you can't be serious. Yep, that's a great one. Person. What? <laughs> what about the political person? Little, 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 little people, we love you, especially that English dude. He does one. Oh, Game of Thrones. You watch, right? I do watch. I'm behind. Why? I'm because Ooh. I'm so busy doing this. Well, not so, the bills, right? Plus, wow, thanks, Drama Queen. Wow. So... <laughs> 
I can't wait to taste the souffle. Well, well, I get that all the time. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> all right, this show is rated R for Rappaport. I hope you're enjoying it. Rated R for weird. Weird. Beard. Uh, so you do use Facebook and Twitter. So yeah, I do. I do use them. I just don't. I'm not aggressive on them. You're not aggressive. You know, I, I will go to G Plus and post on G Plus uh, in half a minute before I would ever post on either. All of right. Posts. So now you're in love. Now they will people love you. So now we have souffle or chocolate. So this is so a should we call cake. it? We call it chocolate cake. Or we call it souffle. We call it both. <laughs> The only difference between this and a true souffle was the water bath that it was cooked in. Okay. Other than that, it's the exact same thing. Soup to nuts. Everything's identical. Now, do we, now you're talk, we're talking about whipped cream and strawberries or just strawberries? Just or straight up strawberry, and then I'm going to toast it with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar, okay. which I'll have to dig out of the upper cabinet because I don't use a lot of powdered sugar. Mm, yeah, you don't use too much sugar. Yeah, a little bit of sugar. Let's see. What are we talking Now, do you think, should we leave one without that? Should, I mean, do you think it'll taste different without it? Better? Worse? Just, just dressing. It's just dressing. Really? Look at that. That wasn't completely painful, was it? That was pounding. Yeah. No, it's great. So is there a G plus story that comes to mind that you just like, uh, it just blows you away? Something that happens? Something? Um, there is some the people. The, like you, you know, like uh, like Tiffany and like, uh, you know, Peter and all these other folks that I've met. I just, right. You know, I love the people. Uh, I've, I've just always felt super comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. um, these are a really good group of people. I have yet, and I, I know they exist. I'm You've yet to meet don't. someone that was uh, an a-hole. Right. I have yet to meet somebody that I felt was out trying to take advantage of. Me. And I know they're out there. Hey, hey. You no, it's fine. Well, I felt bad. I didn't try. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to... Bang, bang, bang. Can you see that? Oh, they can see the dusting area. It's all right. This is not real sugar. It's not real cocaine. No, I love the cocaine. No, this is just powder Listen, sugar. as a filmmaker who likes lots of movies, lots of directors likes leaving Tarantino, how can you not just pretend as a filmmaker because they use sugar for cocaine all the they time? Usually do. They usually so do. why not? Why not? Uh, I wonder, do they have to actually snort the sugar then? Yep. Or so is that that's dangerous to snort sugar or not? Mm, apparently not. There's a mixture that they can do. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know everything that's in it. Maybe if one Maybe of our film do. buffs is watching, they can add yeah. in the comments. Um, but Talk no. a little bit, yeah, do you know a little bit about some of that stuff? Uh, I know, you know, a little drugs. bit. I used to be a professional photographer, so, you know, I've, I've played with it. Are uh, there any tips you have? Let's see, the strawberries, can we get them into the camera? Yeah. Yeah. Over this way. These are the beautiful. Reason. Beautiful time of the year to be getting any kind of fresh produce, oh, like you. strawberries. I had or strawberries this morning, yeah. Love is them. There, now, can, is there any tip to how you like to prepare your strawberries, cutting them? Or? Uh, yeah, use a knife. Yeah, that's a, that's a plus. Yeah, as opposed to, you know, a spoon or whatever. I and like to just eat it off the leaf. Just yeah, off the leaf. Yeah. Uh, the sand, the leaf, all the been, screen. We've seen Leslie. Yeah, and Leslie will never show up. Leslie's busy. Leslie's on the roof in a smoking jacket. Why well, do I think Leslie really exists? Oh, yeah. He's wearing a smoking jacket. Have you had sex with Leslie? Pardon? Have you had sex with Leslie by any chance? Before you were married. I mean. I'm married! I'm talking before. Well, Leslie, this is your whole life, right? All right, never mind. All right. I, no, the question is freaking from the record. Leslie doesn't like to touch an appropriate No, <laughs> un unfortunately. <laughs> Leslie's life is, is bad. <laughs> Sucks. I'm putting the strawberries on the souffle. Enjoy that. We're gonna, are we'll you be back with you folks here in just a second. Yeah, just a second. No, but it's been a fun time. It's been a good show. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It does look, it smells so nice. How hot is this? Really hot? Yeah, they're pretty hot. You, you tell me. Yeah, it's hot. I don't know if I need a glove. You're like, please don't present. Do you want to be yeah, no, yeah, these look gorgeous. I'm very proud of these. Why not just do both? Because that's more fun. Let's see if I can create the, use the mouse. No, I can't. Right. So, as you can see, I've got my big can. Hey, Eileen McAllister, how are you? <laughs> He's like, uh oh. Or Lee Allison will show you. Straight up, there we go, chocolate. There's our presentation right there. Now, so how long in total would you say it took to make? Uh, an hour. Hey, that's enough out of you over there. Uh, no, not even an hour. Uh, the no. cooking time on this was uh, 30, 35 minutes. The prep time was 
15 And how much alcohol did we get down? Not enough. Not, not enough, as enough, much right? as, I mean, we're not done yet. Even no. if we hang up right now, we're not done. Fireball, yeah. So. And the first one goes to Allison Ellison. Oh, and we yes. can't even watch. No, now, Chef Lee Allison walked over to Allison Allison and delivered oh, that always, the package. Always willing to serve that. That bruiser wants to eat really badly. Yeah, it's really probably going to be burning hot. Sure. Well, last time Bruiser had chocolate, he went to the best. Chocolate? Yes, That's a no no. Yeah. Don't feed your dogs anything like chocolate, onion, garlic, bad. Don't do that. Alright. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh sure. my god. Let me just hold that in your hand. <laughs> so you, are, you, are you saying that it's good? There you go. No, I inhaled the power. You inhaled the Coke? Okay. So we will start with the, uh, the oh, strawberry, but I will wait to toast you oh, with the strawberry. Yeah. Should we toast the strawberry? Sure. Is I was like trying to put that between my thumb and finger, and that's not going to work. Put it right on. Okay, with the strawberry? There you go, sir. All right, there it is. Well, I'm thinking that before we dig in, how long does it take before it gets cold? Like five minutes, ten? If it gets cold, you haven't eaten it correctly. Yeah. Because I wanted Why to are go, you even asking that question? Because I want to go into conversation plus and get more people in here while we're eating. Okay, go for it. Not eat it all. Oh. So, I can't thank you enough for being part of the show. Oh, my. We're I'm kind amazing, of impressing myself here. Amazing. Here we go. As I put the stool, there we go. This is like an adulterated souffle. It's really tasty. It's Very amazing. chocolatey. It's like halfway between pudding and an actual cake. I love my strawberry. Mm -hmm. Pudding mm -hmm. on. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh my god! I just inhaled the powdered <laughs> sugar too. Oh. Oh, <laughs> inhale. We're, now we're saying that food porn and food drugs, those are good. Absolutely. Uh, so thank you so much, Lee Allison. We're going to do Conversations Plus, but if you only watch this part, why didn't you watch the next part? Because we didn't do it yet, but it's probably going to be pretty freaking amazing. We might have some fun. We might be so uh -huh. drunk out of our minds or so so looked over with, with chocolate in our mouth. You might want to watch. It's kind of chocolatey. It's kind of good. It's chocolatey goodness. Yeah, it is. Shelly Guinness, everybody. Thanks for everyone for watching Town Conversations. Uh, I might have guitarist Matty James next week. We'll have to see. Rodney Pike, Matt Gibson, a lot of guitar, a lot of art. Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson will not be on. He does not like my people for some reason. I don't know what I've heard that. Him. I've heard that. Are y'all ever going to give him a break on that? Never. Okay. Uh, I think he's had what? many. He has many breaks. Anyway, that's neither here nor Braveheart. But so, thanks for watching. Uh, Conversations Plus coming up shortly. And uh, go get yourself a drink and drink. Your own right. snack. Go get a drink. Chocolate. Don't forget. Maybe Social skill. Your show next time. You should be. You have every sure. opportunity to make it up. No, not tonight. Right. I don't want to share the spotlight with nobody. <laughs> no. Well, then zip it. Somebody said, yeah. Yeah. not enough fireballs. Because if she had enough fireballs, she'd be sleeping. All right, don't forget, folks, www.thesocialskillet.com. Yes. i got to plug that. Um, we're currently in the midst of doing our newsletter slash um, cookbook, cooking book. So, yes, that is thesocialskillet.com, and you're going to do some hangouts on air and impromptu or cooking. Absolutely, or? always. Oh, uh, Friday evenings. Um, uh, usually, regularly, I do a beer hangout. I've taken over temporarily for Adam <laughs> Hudak who is taking care of some family business. So follow my stream if you like craft beers. We're just cracking them open, talking about them. And uh, hold on for one second. Okay, and just having a good time. All right. <laughs> I've frozen. Your computer's not buffering. Wow, I actually kind of looked like I was frozen. Right? You it's did. Still. But this, these are that is skillful. Mm -hmm. Take a spoon. No, but I want to wait until, okay, so I'm going to, if Come you want to actually see me eat. Come on, you're going to the reaction eat. shot. Okay, yeah, would I actually want to see you eat some of this. What, yeah. You think I'm poisoning you or something? No, but Don't I wanted to eat in a conversations plus because I'm not stuck no. around. Like Do, we it. Saw him eat. Do it. No peer pressure here at the Allison household. <laughs> it's like I had, okay, I can't, that's not safe for this hangout, but I would like to say. <laughs> It's like a chocolate eel. I am in nasties in my mouth. No, that, was, that was so great. There you go. So All right, folks, thank you very much. We're going to take a little much. break, and then we'll be back to just mess around um, with the chocolate, I mean, and the other stuff. Good night. And uh, I can't uh, cut Seriously? you Seriously? Yes. Seriously? But that's funny to end it like that, because then they're like... That's a, that's a highly honed precision instrument. Would you please get your mitts off? Please put the knife down. No. All right. Good night.